We all know how the Xperia 3 compares to the RX7V, but how does Shoei as a brand itself perform against Arai, AGV or HAC? To find out we have collected and analyzed all the data from the dozens of helmets that we have tested on the road to come up with clear facts. Are you curious to know which helmet brand can call itself the best of 2022? Then stay tuned! Hello all, my name is Liv from Champion Helmets and welcome to our channel. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all of our reviews, road tests and guides. While you're at it, hit that like button and let us know in the comments what you think of this video. Since we started recording our road test, we have collected data from dozens of helmets from Shoei, Arai, AGV, HAC, Shark, Schubert, Scorpion, Bell and the Nolan Group. While we have used this data to see how their helmets do individually, we are now curious to see what results we get when we look at all their respected helmets together to find out what they have to offer as a brand overall. We used our usual test setup and added the average of the Sharp scores to get an idea of their safety as well. We did not include Schubert for this data review because the amount of samples that we tested for this brand was simply too small to make a fair comparison. Ok, now let's get started. We'll start with Shoei. Other than Shark or AGV, this is along with Scorpion the brand that we have tested the most. Shoei is a high-end brand and we can see this in the high quality liners, the visor mechanisms and the overall high quality. Shoei helmets typically come in an oval round fit with the shell made from Shoei's advanced integrated matrix material. Our numbers are based on the riding test of the Shoei Neotech 2, the Shoei NXR, the Shoei GTR2, the Shoei Xperit 3, the Shoei Hornet ADV, the Shoei Glamstar, and the Shoei J Cruise 2. Considering the test results of all Shoei helmets combined, Shoei is doing as well as we expected. For material, Shoei scores 4 stars using their aim skill. This also translates into a lightweight earning Shoei another 4 stars. Since most Shoei helmets are also equipped with an integrated pinlock lens, the brand also scores 4 stars for its visors. For noise, Shoei does reasonably well and earns 3 stars for this. If we then look further at ventilation, we see that Shoei scores 3.5 stars. Finally, Shoei deserves 4.5 stars because of the great comfort of the helmets. Overall, Shoei does very well with a total of 4 stars and a very wallet-friendly Euro per star rating of 22. Based on the sharp ratings of this helmet, Shoei is also very safe and it scores an average of 4 stars. Now we have come to the Arai. Arai is our second major Japanese helmet manufacturer that is also known for their safety and quality as well as adding certain special features that other brands do not have. Consider their visor vents and a round shell shape. Arai helmets are generally made from their own super fiber via a complex laminate construction. This means that they are among the most expensive in most helmet categories. Arai is also known for providing a wide range of shell fits. This ranges from medium oval to long oval. For our road test we tried out the RI Tour X4, the RI Profile V, the RI Renegade V, the RI SZR Vest and the RI Air X7V. RI definitely gives Shoei an edge when we talk about price, but let's see how much. For material, Arai scores 4 stars and thanks to the special fiber the helmets are made of, Arai also just managed to get 4 stars for weight. If we then look at the visors, Arai scores 3.5 stars. For noise and ventilation, the Arai scores 3 stars and for comfort, again 4 stars, which is due to the high quality linings. If we look at the performance of the helmets from Arai, Arai lags behind compared to Shoei. Arai ends up with a total score of 3.5 stars and these stars come at a cost of 26 euros per star, which is quite expensive. Nevertheless, Arai helmets are safe helmets that score an average of 4 stars for their safety. Ok, now let's start looking at AGV. AGV is a very strong competitor in this case with helmets in almost every category and price range, not to mention that they are the producers of the famous Pista GPRR worn by the man himself, Valentino Rossi. Although the fit of the AGV helmets tend to be narrower, AGV also uses carbon fiber materials. We tested the Pista GPRR and the Pista GPR, the K1, the K3 SV, the Sport Modular, the Tour Modular, the AGV K6, the AGV X3000 and the AGV Corsa R to arrive at a score for AGV. Overall, AGV does as well as its competitors. For material, AGV scores 4 stars, because the helmets are equipped with multiple shell sizes. This also results in a nice 4 stars for weight. AGV's visors earn 3 stars. 
If we look at noise isolation, AGV disappoints with a moderate score of 2.5 stars. Finally, AGV scores 4 stars for ventilation and another 3.5 stars for comfort. This brings the Italian brand to a total score of 3.5 stars at about 26 euro per star earned, which is the same as we saw for the Arai. If we look at how the AGV does on safety, they also do extremely well earning a nice score of 4 stars for the safety component. So, we have now arrived at the American brand Bell. The fit of Bell helmets is in between round and oval. For this brand we have tested the following helmets. The Bell Star DLX MPS, the Bell Qualifier DLX, the Bell Race Star DLX, the Bell SRT, the Bell MX9 Adventure, the Bell Bullet, the Bell Eliminator and the Bell Bruiser. Let's go see how Bell does. For both material and comfort, Bell scores 3.5 stars. For the visor and the ventilation parts, this is 3. On the weight part, Bell manages to stand out with a nice average star score of 4. However, Bell disappoints on the noise part with a moderate score of 2.5 stars. Finally, Bell scores 3.5 stars on the comfort part. All in all, Bell managed to achieve an average score of 3 stars with 18 euros per star earned. If we then look at the safety of Bell helmets, we arrive at a nice 4 stars. Now we have come to the Shark, the French helmet manufacturer. In general, Shark helmets have a medium oval fit and are well known thanks to the Shark EVO 1-2. The helmets we tested for the Shark are the Shark EVO 1-2, the Shark Spartan Carbon, the Shark Race Air Pro GP, the Shark Spartan GT Carbon, the Shark Street Drag and the Shark Squall 2.2. Shark is doing well, but so far doesn't make it into our top 3. On the material part, Shark scores 3 stars because of their few number of shell sizes. For weight, Shark does manage to earn 4 stars, but if we talk about the visor again, it falls back to 3 stars. For noise and comfort, Shark also earns 3 stars and for the ventilation, the brand scores 4 stars again. This brings Sharks to an average score of 3 stars for 22 euros per star. However, the Shark is strong on safety and gets 4 out of 5 stars for this part, which is really great. HSA always managed to surprise us during our road test with their incredibly low prices and high quality and performances. HSA helmets are made from their own premium integrated metrics and usually have an intermediate oval head shape. For this test we have used our data from the HSA Arfa 90S Carbon, the F70, the E90, the E70, the Arfa 70, the Arfa 11 and the HSA Arfa 1. For material, the HGC scores 3 stars, which is reasonable. If we then look at weight and the visor part, HGC managed to raise its star rating on both parts to 4 stars. For noise isolation, HGC gets 3.5 stars, which is good, but still quite notable. The HGC Arfa 70 Carbon, the HGC Arfa 90S Carbon and the HSA E70 are in fact one of the quietest helmets we have ever measured. The moderate noise isolation of the other helmets takes the total score down, which is quite a shame. Furthermore, HEC scores on the ventilation part an excellent 4 stars and for comfort an average of 3 stars. All in all, this brings HAC to a total score of 3.5 stars with 18 euros per star earned. For safety, HAC also does reasonably well and the brand receives 3 stars for this. Now moving on to the French brand Scorpion. As we mentioned earlier, Scorpion is together with Shoei the brand that we have tested the most. For Scorpion we have tested the XO1400 Air and the XO1400 Air Carbon, the 520 Air, the XO491 and the XO920, the XO Air 1 Air Carbon, the XO Tech Carbon, the ADX1, the XO Combat and the Convert X. The fit of these helmets is generally between round and oval. If we look at the performance of Scorpion we see that this brand scores average. For material and noise Scorpion earns 3 stars. If we then look at the visor we see that Scorpion scores 3.5 stars on this part. This score is due to the fact that most of the helmets come standard with a pinlock lens in the box. We also see that Scorpion on the weight and ventilation parts managed to get a nice 4 stars. In almost all helmets the temperature inside the helmet was equal to the temperature outside which is really excellent. What is unfortunate is the score for comfort. Scorpion scored on this part only 2.5 stars. This brings the French brand to an average star score of 3 with 13 euro per star earned. Finally, if we look at the safety of the Scorpion helmets, they also do not feel short on this part and the brand scores 3.5 stars for their safety. The last brand to compare is the Nolan Group for which we have combined our results for the Nolan and the X-Lite helmets. Both companies come up with helmets that have a mid-oval fit and they usually offer very strong mid-range touring and racing helmets. In this case we have tested the Nolan N87+, Plus, the Nolan N87, the Nolan N105+, Plus, and the Nolan N105, the X-Lite X1004 Ultra Carbon and the X-Lite X803 RS Ultra Carbon. 
Now let's start looking at the results. For material and weight they earn 3 stars, while for the visor they score 4 stars. For noise the Nolan group does also reasonably well with another 3 stars and the same goes for comfort and ventilation. Overall this gives the Nolan group 3 stars for 22 euros per star which is not bad either. They also do very well for safety and they have a well deserved score of 4 stars for this. So. Now we have gone through all the brands and we can start announcing our winner. We apologize in advance to all Arai, AGV or any of the other competing fans because it has become showy. Showy received 4 stars overall and they also did as well or better than any other brand in every category. Not to mention the great value for money for 22 euros per star. Then we see that AGV, HSA and Arai all three do equally well in terms of star ratings. But if we weigh in the factor of price then HSA runs off with the second spot in the ranking. The third place is shared by AGV and Arai who both scored 3.5 stars with a price quality ratio of 26 euro per star earned. Next we have Scorpion in place 4 and Shark in place 5 followed by Bell and the Nolan group. If you are interested in any of these helmets then go to championhelmets.com where we have the lowest price guarantee and different bundle deals on all of our helmets and products. So. Now we have our answer. For 2022, Showy is the best helmet brand. However, this does not mean that every helmet Showy produces is actually better than the others, as this result is based on an average score. Also, the helmet that you choose depends on what purpose you are going to use it for, and this could just as well be offered by AGV, HJC or any of the other brands. If you are curious to see more of these road test results, be sure to take a look at our channel where we review each helmet from each brand individually. Thanks for watching, my name is Liv from Champion Helmets and I will see you next time.